Y N W Melly, what's good? What's man, people have been begging for this damn interview. Yeah. And I ain't did an interview over in over a month. Damn. Yeah. Facts, man. How you doing? Shit, I'm good. Hey. Yeah, now, now we're in South Florida right now. Uh, born and raised, is where you from? Yeah. Okay, what city? Guilford. Guilford? Yeah, Guilford, not with an L though. Okay. Guilford, though, with two L's. But like, you got, sometimes you got to say real deep, because that bitch is too small. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Has that have any rappers blew from you? Yeah, no. Nah. Nah. <laughs> you the only rapper? Yeah, me and my name shit. Yeah. yeah. So, what was it like growing up, you know, with, Gil with Guilford? Yeah. Okay, what was it like growing up out there? Shit, that shit went shit. That shit already felt like a weird ass world already. Uh, it like it wasn't too many people like me and the niggas, like, you know what I'm saying? And then shit. But from Gifford, I only stayed, I stayed in Gifford for like, about like 10 years. Then I moved, I moved on um, Whisper Palm. A little like city. Not a city, but a little, on what the fuck they call it, a little barn place or something. And like, a, People was over there and shit, but I ain't really know all them people. It was more, it was more white people than Mexicans. You know what I'm saying? Then it was because I, my mom was trying to get us out, out from, out of Gifford. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because I was already being bad and shit. Right. So then we went there, and it was Mexicans and white people and shit. I was bad with the Mexicans and white people too. Yeah. And shit, we moved to Oslo and shit. I was bad with them too. Oh. So your mom wanted you to go to college. Yeah. So. Did you tell her about the rap shit or you just start doing it? Nah, I always told her about the rap shit. Yeah. Okay, so you graduate school, right? You didn't well, graduate? I got my GED. Yeah, okay. I got my GED when I was locked up the last time. Okay, so before that, you just dropped out? No, nah, I just wasn't worried about that shit because I already knew, you know what I'm saying? So you gradually stopped going to school? Yeah, I was skipping that bitch and shit. I pull up with just some money there. I pull up to school. Man. So you're not going to school at all? Yeah, you're not eating lunch? Like high school, no. Nah. Yeah. So, I mean, did you tell your mom? Tell her what? That your mom, I'm not going to school no more. Shit, I been said that, but then they looking like I'm a jackass and shit. So I said, hey, that I know what I'm doing, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, shit. I, ain't, I wasn't in high school that long anyway, though. Yeah. Back that up, man. I wasn't in high school that long anyway. So what freshman, sophomore year, what, what year did you did you drop out? I ain't drop out, I got kicked out. You got kicked out? Yeah. For what? Some shit like, you that shit was on the news, like I was shooting after school. Okay. You know what I'm saying? And that was the reason why you just got out of jail recently? No. Okay, so that's some that other shit. first time, I was like 15. Okay, so how old are you now? 19. <laughs> <laughs> 19. This is a young nigga world, we don't really go about that. That's that human shit, we, we young forever. Yeah, so you don't go by age. All right, so you gradually stop going to school. Well, you get kicked out of school, mm -hmm. and then they say you shot at school, mm -hmm. and then you get you go to jail. All right, yeah, I go to jail when I shot at shooting by the school. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I go to jail. I get out. I try to go to regular school. They said I can't go to no regular school, so I had to go to alternative. Mm -hmm. That shit was born. So I said, fuck that. You know what I'm saying? Then some probation shit happened. And then they said, because I wasn't showing up the alternative. I wasn't showing up the alternative like I was supposed to, according to like my probation officer and all that shit. Because yeah. I knew what I was doing. You know what I'm saying? Sure. And so they was like, hey, you can't go there no more. If I keep going there and missing them days, I'm going to go back to jail. So I said, fuck that. All right, damn. All right, I'm going to get my GED then. But I knew I ain't going to need no GED. Yeah. Me and my twin, we knew we, we didn't need that shit. But we still got them shits, you know what I'm saying? Right. That type of shit. <laughs> okay, so you get your GED, right? When did you, now you just got out of jail recently, right? Yeah. Like what, eight months ago? Yeah. Fuck that, four months, it was less than that, right? No. What was that for? A song <clears throat> and a, a piss violation. They said my piss was dirty. But a song though, that song murdered my mind. Yeah. You went to jail for the song. So you was on probation and it was something that they you said in your lyrics? Yeah, I was on probation for the last thing I did, the little school thing. Mm -hmm. And then I was on like they was watching me. And then after that they was like, you can't you if you ain't gonna go to alternative every day, then you gotta at least sign up for G D and all that. 
Right. But I ain't get my GD. I didn't get my GD then. So that was making me look bad too. And mm -hmm. then they read, they heard my song, and they started putting lyrics from me and all my niggas songs and shit. Then they was saying, oh, but nah, we gonna send you to the program. And I ain't even know, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, damn. I was trying to go to Atlanta. Me and my slime, we knew what we was doing, you feel me? I was trying to go to Atlanta and do this rap shit, you feel me? But the judge was like, nah, he ain't going. When you go back to your hometown, I mean, is it a lot of hate? I mean, it's like at the same time, the shit really confusing. Like, about the, the hometown situation, it's like, they love, they love us, you know what I'm saying? They love me, but like on Facebook and shit, they hate me. You know what I'm saying? But if you see their ass in person, they love your ass, you know what I'm saying? All you gotta do is see them in person. And that shit, you feel me? That shit weird. Like, I be seeing that shit to all y'all motherfuckers. Hey, y'all know what time it is, you know what I'm saying? But it's some weird shit that go on on Facebook, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, everybody just go with the same wave on that bitch. Especially if it's young nigga wear a name in front of that bitch, they just go with the wave. So if they talking good about young nigga wear one day, if everybody talking good, then they gonna talk good. If everybody talking bad, shit. You can just about 70 likes on that stuff, but shit. Fuck, I'm finna do it too. Just a yeah. same little ugly ass gift for hoes could come in the inbox and all that shit. Yeah, so, you know, when you was in jail, what was the experience like? Was it any fights? Was niggas, you know what I mean? Did you already knew when you got out you was gonna blow? Like, what was the experience yeah, like in jail? Love is fights, but that shit was just weird, though. You know what I'm saying? It was on some shit, like, I, I don't know, like, it's like, I always had something in my eyes. Like, when I look at a nigga, like, you know what I'm saying? They, like, especially, like, in jail, they'll know they be like, this nigga ain't like me. You know what I'm saying? He not like me, because them niggas don't have no plan. They ain't had no plan. When I was in that bitch, I had a plan, you feel me? I'm like, hey, I'm in this bitch, hey, I know what the fuck I'm finna do when I get out of this bitch, I'm finna blow, you know what I'm saying? And like Are you telling people in jail, like, yo, I'm about to blow when I get out? Yeah, but I no 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 matter of fact when I first got in there, I wasn't even saying that. I humbled myself, you know what I'm saying? Cause I knew I was like, alright, alright, fuck it. I'm in this bitch for what? A year? The first time, I'm in this bitch for like a year, boy. I'm straight. I ain't fucking with that nigga. I'm already the smallest nigga in this bitch. You feel me? Hey, I'm not no motherfucking bending. Be turned up. If a nigga come my way with that brazen shit, you bump my way. Hey, I'm gonna smash ass. I'm gonna have to show you what this little shit about. You know what I'm saying? But then it was like, hey, niggas was like in that bitch trying to rap for real. You know what I'm saying? But it was just like them niggas was in that bitch like, like low key like before I even started showing people my songs in there. Be like man. I better than this nigga, you know what I'm saying? And I seen all the staff, they was like, oh yeah, oh yeah. You got talent, oh you got talent. They be really scared of them type of niggas, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Be big ass niggas that be beating people ass and shit, nigga, ooh, 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 right now. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I be looking at their ass. They ain't never sized me though, cause they seen it in my eyes too. I don't know what it was. Yeah. They ain't never sized me then, like, I think like my third week in that bitch, cause I wasn't talking to nobody when I first got there. But my first day I got in the fight, and my second day I got in the fight. Yeah. But that's all they on my doom. You, 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 you went two and up? What was, huh? your, what was your record? Hey, no, I ain't gonna lie. The second one, the second one, the nigga got me though. But it wasn't no more like he didn't beat my ass though. Yeah. You know what I'm talking yeah. about? The it's first one, up. I beat the crack ass. Though. Okay. Fuck okay. with him though. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. Cause that boy hopped out there. Cause I, I already peaked game when I first walked in that bitch. Cause it was just niggas just looking at me and shit. Cause I'm small and shit. And like, I already heard about it. I ain't even done me, you know what I'm saying? Shit. Hold up, so you can't be sending me to Palm Beach, Juvenile Correction. Hey, you ever been up? A nigga gonna tell you, you know what I'm saying? Nah, but my dog been up. This what they do, this what they do, you know what I'm saying? I know what they got planned, you know what I'm saying? So when I came there already, and I'm taking a shower, the cracker was like, you know what I'm saying? I felt the vibe already, like, the cracker was like, he sung, he was saying a little dirt song. Matter of fact, he was talking about, this ain't what you want. I said, hey, bro, man. hey, bro, I can get it real quick. Then he was like, huh? He looked surprised. Like, he looked like it was already on his mind. Like, you know what I'm saying? So I had to show his ass. Then when he came out, and his eyes was a little fucked up. It was like, all right. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But then I went to showing people. I went to showing people, like, I showed one nigga my music, a nigga named Antonio Bland. Free that dumb ass nigga right now. You know what I'm saying? I showed him that um, murder on my mind, because I made that bitch in the cell. I made it. And he was like, bro, I ain't gonna lie, bro. My favorite rapper on everything I love, he said, my favorite rapper, Kodak. 
You know what I'm saying? He said, bro, I ain't gonna lie. If I would have, like, bro, I ain't gonna lie. If you would have put that bitch on the beat before that, you would have been my favorite rapper. You know what I'm saying? And that shit had me like, huh? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I said, yeah. Then I went to a nigga from Broward. You know what I'm saying? I slid on that bitch. She said, bro, I ain't gonna lie. Bro, you might be one of the best rappers I know. And I said, man. I don't know what the fuck that was in me, but like, I was like, man, you nigga might be just dick riding or something. So then I said, hey, fuck, hey, it was one, an NFL player came, he came to the um to the program and talked to us, and I slid the song, and I slid that 772 Love and all, like, Legendary and all them songs. He was like, bro, it was like, you talented, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And like, there's niggas in that bitch who don't, you feel me, niggas don't, niggas ain't got shit, you feel me, when they get out, you know what I'm saying? They ain't going home and nothing, you know what I'm saying? And they started seeing that attention and shit. And they was just like, oh, um, you know what I'm saying? Just talking shit and shit. They mad. Plus, I had put a little finesse on the case manager anyway, so I was getting out on time, you know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? Because every fight you get in, you're supposed to catch another 30 days, 30 days, 30 days. But I was getting in fights and all that. And they like, how the fuck you keep getting, you know what I'm saying? How he that look, you know what I'm saying? So it was niggas in that bitch that's going. Feel me, they gon' hate and shit. For some reason they never touch me, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like the biggest nigga there, like that nigga shit. That nigga fuck with me. He was like, I fuck with you. I fuck with that murder on my mind. Yeah. He used to pay me, he used to pay me what? Four rice crispies. I had to start charging niggas in that bitch. They kept they kept telling me slide my shit. I was like, nah, bro, I ain't doing that shit no more. You know what I'm saying? Then the nigga had to So wait, 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 that was paying you what? Wait, 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 wait. go back. Rice Krispies, bitch, with the blue rapper. You know what I'm talking about? This yeah. shit. You be shining. And you was good before. For every time you did it. Matter of fact, I hit a lick. I hit a lick on a polo v-neck, a white polo v-neck, <laughs> in the ground, and I sold that bitch to him for 10 Rice Krispies. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But the nigga was like, the nigga fuck with me, though. The nigga was like, bro. Because I told his ass, I was like, bro, I ain't going to keep sliding this shit for free, bro. I don't know what you take this shit for, bro. Cause these niggas on my dorm paying me they motherfucking they paying me pieces of the food that I like for lunch and shit, dude. Sloppy shit. Hmm. Who's you like? Shit. Alright. I fuck with that. Alright. You know what I'm saying? And he started paying me the rice crispies. And then at that time you telling people when you get out you gonna blow. <laughs> yeah, that's when like I knew I was gonna blow, but you know what I'm saying? I knew back I knew people wouldn't understand me then. But I knew when I made a song where like, alright, this that type of shit they like. You know what I'm saying? They not fully on my level yet. Then they'll be like, okay, they'll fuck with me, you know what I'm saying? So, like, that's what I did, and then I seen that shit work, because everybody, because it went from the whole program, like, the whole program, everybody in that bitch was like, murder on my mind. Niggas remixing the shit and all, writing letters, talking about, hey, Melly, bro, I'm about to remix your song, is that okay? I'm like, bitch, dumbass nigga, if you remix the shit, right, don't you get out for me? But they don't be knowing that shit, you know what I'm saying? They could have stole them shit and all, they don't be knowing shit. Ha, ha, ha.